Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Golden Kamui season 3 episode number 11. Okay, before I start uh, a small little announcement, uh, I'm holding a poll and the link to the poll will be given in the description in the description uh, not in the description in the comments and uh, like let me tell you what this poll is about. I am starting like I'm replacing a show that is Soul Eater which will like end in my channel and I'm replacing it with another show and the poll is about that so if you guys are interested in like voting for uh, like the next show that i have i will react to so please be free to uh, like go in the comment section i'll be pinning the comment with the link to the poll you can go there and vote for it yeah that was uh, the thing that i was going to announce okay so uh, this is episode number 11 of golden kamui almost at the end and thankfully um shiraishi and Sugimoto met. Now I'm hoping uh, Sugimoto and Ashripa will also meet uh, after this because obviously uh, they're extremely close. Like uh, Ashripa and like Kiraranke Ogata, they are I think a few steps ahead of them. Where like Shiraishi is like was almost falling down into the water and Sugimoto saved them. So I'm hoping like Shiraishi will like direct him. And say like yeah, he, they are like just ahead. You can go and catch up to them. And I hope like they meet in this season. I was really um I don't know where, when this season started. I was a bit concerned as if to they would like get to meet at all in this season or not. But thankfully, I think they will be able to. Uh, I think it will be kind of like the season finale when they meet. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what this episode brings. So yeah guys, um, without further ado, let's get started with episode number 11 of Golden Kamui season 3. Alright, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. And <laughs> it broke. Hmm. Yep, long time no see. <laughs> oh lord. What the hell? Should I she? <laughs> okay. Yep, he told him. Hmm. He's immortal, did you forget? Did I see? <laughs> yep. <sighs> okay. Let's go! Yep. Oh boy, and Ogata also kind of had an inkling that Ashipa remembered, yeah. Okay. Oh, it is something related to uh, his re like his Ainu name and Rita. Okay, so she was basically trying to block all of the like painful uh, thing that happened, like. Uh, Wilk leaving her and also uh, Ritar similarly leaving her. Um, so that's why she forgot because he did not want she did not want to remember the painful thing that happened in her past. Okay. Thankfully, um, Sugimoto and Shiraishi will reach them. Now that they are almost like on top of each other.
wait a minute um when they saved sofia there was another uh, lady with the russian lady who they were supposed to save i uh, oh no not they were uh, like sugimoto no, knew the like uh someone like ran away with that lady and they are like captured now okay so where is she now the russian lady probably like let us later on uh okay. Yeah, he definitely understood. No, don't. Don't go with him. Oh, boy. Oh, no, I'm... Having a bad feel. Ah, yeah. Well, um. Oh boy, if Sugimoto comes here now, like, oh. oh no, they won't let her live if he if she like tells them, they'll dispose her off. I think. Like, the secret is only the thing that is keeping her safe. Who the? Who is that? Oh, that lady. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I was just talking about her. Haha. <laughs> Oh no, don't do that. She must have like broken out of that place, prison. <laughs> well, did you get enough adventure now? Damn, like. What the hell are you saying, girl? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh no. God damn it. What the hell? These guys w goes out of prison and start doing these kind of things? Or are they like uh, trying to get their clothes because they're old? No. Exactly. Yep. He he'll like kill her if she tells anything. Oh, oh okay. Who 
Who is that? Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Come on! My god, he will come and like... Come on, no reason, Sugimoto. Okay. Oh lord. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Ogata. Oh my god, he is Turning it on him. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> Good. Oh, damn. Calm down. Oof. Hmm. Oh lord. That was you. Yeah, why are you telling these now? Exactly. Ogata, you've you've gone too down too much down the rabbit hole. No, that's not a good enough excuse. Why now? Question is why now? Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Oh no! Oh no, Kira! Oh, damn! Come on! Whoa! The amount of hatred he has for Kiroranke. For like... Damn, this episode is going down in all like... Oh lord. Not again. Come on, Tanigaki. Wait, what happened? Come on, what happened? Show us. Whose blood is that? Show us. Whose blood? Okay. <sighs> Thank God Tanigak is okay. My God, like the hatred he has for him because of Inkaramat and everything. What the? <laughs> Wait, what are they doing? Are they using the seal to? Oh, they're using uh, the wind, I think. Nope, do not. He is coming up with lies one after the other. What the hell, Ogata? Like... They even <laughs> made a fake memory for this. <laughs> what the hell? Oh god. <laughs> like God damn this show. <clears throat> oh is it 
Oh, did he really say this? Just a sec. Oh no, I, I don't think he said something. Yeah, yeah, like, why am I getting tricked as well? <laughs> yeah, I was really confused about uh, why he was suddenly talking about the widow. That's why I was confused. I thought that maybe if Sugimoto really said something to him. Nope. He'll, he'll like make something up. Okay, what was her actual name? Forgot. Was was it Tome? No, Sugimoto won't say something like that. What the hell? No. Come on, Ashripa, realize. Come on. Yeah, what, what, what? Wait, there was something I forgot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh no. My god. Where is Sugimoto? Where are they? Where is everyone? That's a poison, isn't it? Yeah. What? Oh, the Purity. He's talking about his past. Yeah, oh, Lord. Yep. Yeah, he's talking about himself. He'll tell about Sugimoto, isn't? Won't he? Oh, about father. His father. And Sugimoto. She won't, she won't be able to do it because she's not accustomed to all of this. Oh no! Uh, he remembered his brother's words. Okay, Sugimoto's here. Come on! Oh! Wait, you did not kill him. That, that doesn't kill. That will probably make him blind. That's it. Wait. What the? Oh, th that is poison. Okay, that might really kill him.
Oh my god. Come on, he was she was so like surprised that she didn't even notice Sugimoto came. Okay. Thank God. Oof. Well, he's immortal, so what else? <laughs> <laughs> where where is Ogata? <laughs> where is Ogata? Oh! Oh no, the cold! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I, I think you need salt or something. I'm not sure. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, you need the salt, I think. <laughs> what the hell is this? What is this? Just after meeting? <laughs> yeah, this is Golden Kami. <laughs> oh my god, Shirashi will be killed now by Ashripa. <laughs> uh. um. Okay. Uh. Shirashi, Shirashi, put that, put that away, enough. <laughs> okay, where is Kiraranke? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, okay, he's trying to run away. <sighs> Okay, that, oh, that's Tanigaki. Oh no! Grenade! Ah, everything's going down. Did I see? Wait! Oh no, he got hurt! God damn! Yeah, like oh, what? okay. Calm down, Koito. He might even like have set more traps. Oh lord. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> damn. Okay. Oh. Oh no. It's going to end like that. <laughs> wow, this episode was something else. Damn. <laughs> like. Where should I start talking about this episode? Damn, that was something else. Wow, this... I don't know, I don't know what to say. <laughs> like, all of the things that were pending up was, like, let out in this episode. Like, in this tournament, it's like, each and everything. Uh, the whole Tanigaki is uh, like a grudge against Kiroranke for like uh, stabbing Inkanamat and 
like injuring her almost like killing her that and <coughs> koito with uh, like kind of a grudge against uh, like kiranke and uh, ogata as well because <laughs> Because a kind of like Ogata was kind of like uh, worked under Surumi, but he betrayed Surumi. And with uh, Koito's amount, the loyalty with uh, like with for um, Surumi that Koito has, uh, that kind of I also pissed him off. I think the whole betrayal thing that uh, Surumi uh, Ogata did, and Sugimoto obviously uh, grudge against Ogata for um, that's the end. Uh, a grudge against Ogata for shooting uh, Wilk and him as well and like deceiving Ashripa and all of these things that are happening now so yeah um like I don't know like all of these episodes we were kind of like starting to like not like but kind of like getting warmed up to Surumi and um, Kiroranke but uh, like we need to remember that the things that they did especially against um ashripa and sugimoto were not like good they were bad and uh like that like does not like their backstories does not ne negate that fact that the things that they had done are wrong and like you cannot blame any one of them because obviously each and every one is doing everything for their own like for their own benefit something and um like like it's a uh, what is that thing called dog eat world um what is that metaphor called dog eat so something like that <laughs> i forgot anyways um like it's, it's a word like that where you like kill or be killed kind of thing so yeah like you, like you cannot blame any one of them like they are doing everything for their own interest and this is basically golden kamui and the real world as well <laughs> like in the real world this is also like kind of true like kill or be killed uh not so much uh, as the uh, like uh, previous era because in the previous uh, era there was like wars and everything and everyone like almost like uh kill or be killed kind of situation but nowadays with it like as like it's peaceful and all this thing has kind of like reduced to like quite much because now people help each other but in that time in like war children like lands and everything this was the situation like you have to like kill for getting food or something like that like it was uh, so harsh to live so they are living in an era like that and they are like directly involved in all of these things so you cannot blame them in anything that they have done so but the things that they did were wrong so they as they said like what goes around comes back around so what Ogata did it kind of came back around to him and Kirank as well so yeah and I'm not sure what is going to happen with um, Kiroranke but Ogata I think is kind of like neutralized he'll probably like uh, Sugimoto will now take him well I don't know what they will do with Ogata. not sure I think Ogata is saved because um yeah like I thought maybe with like in the when the, like Ashiba was shooting Ogata um, when like uh, the arrow struck his eyes and Ogata was kind of laughing um the laugh behind Ogata's face was like, it's kind of not sad but uh, like it's kind of really weird to think about this because like Ogata, at that time, Ogata knew that he was going to die, but he was laughing because his, uh, like, in the past, he met with a similar situation that he was facing now against Ashripa, where, like, he told his brother a question, like, something like, uh, like, would you kill someone? And his brother said that, no, like, I would not kill anyone. I would try to, like, uh, something uh, along those lines. And Ogata kind of got pissed off at that like according to him no one can be pure uh who are like uh in this situation this uh like in this problems facing these problems so that's why he killed him and the guilt of killing him and his brother's words always came back to him and like 
I don't know like uh, he I think always remembered his brother's words that yeah I won't kill anyone so this is like the same situation he like he, that's why he was like uh, forcing Ashripa to uh, like acknowledge that yeah you also have to kill to like get like you cannot leave your hands um, uh, like you, can, you cannot let your hands be clean like you are in this situation with us you will also have to dirty your hands. So that's why when Ashripa shot him, he knew that he was going to die because it was poisoned. And like even if it like got his eyes, and the I, like the poison would flow through his own body and he will die. So he knew he was going to die. But that was not the thing that mattered to him. The thing that mattered to him was he proved Ashripa, and by proving Ashripa wrong, he also proved his brother wrong. In that sense, so he was laughing and like falling down. So it's kind of sad to think that, yeah, like it came into a situation like this, like it, uh, uh, I don't know, it advanced to such a situation that uh, Ogata had to like, like, Ogata, I don't know, like he has faced a lot of problems from his childhood and everything, but he, I don't know what to feel about his whole, um, like this whole situation of Gata being defeated. Anyways, um, but yeah, like I really uh, like the fact alone that he killed. Um, like I, I don't really really give anything about Wilk. Like he died. Uh, obviously, Ashripa would was sad because of Wilk dying. But obviously, we did not spend much time with Wilk. And as far as I've like spent like time with Wilk in the uh, like episodes uh, from the little backstories that we saw. I really do not support Wilk's way of thinking. I really do not. Like his way of thinking is really extreme. And I don't know. So I really do not have that much of an attachment to Wilk. Uh, he is an okay character. But like killing him. And also at that time we barely knew anything about Wilk. Like we only got to like in season 1. When um was shot. No. He was shot in season 2. Or season 1. Which was it? Anyways, yeah, he was shot in season two. So sorry. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, we barely knew anything about Wilk. So at that time, also the amount of shock that I felt seeing Sugimoto getting killed, uh, almost killed, uh, uh, was like, uh, it was like so immense. Like uh, Wilk's death was nothing in compared to that. So, <clears throat> yeah. And uh, so yeah, what was I saying? I like went off. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, so uh, the amount of shock that I felt seeing Wilk's death uh, and Sugimoto's death, uh, like Sugimoto's death is the main thing, is something that really um, surpasses everything. And I think that whatever like Ogata got in this episode, what he did and that came back around to him, I think that is deserved. And yeah, okay. So <laughs> that and, and the whole thing with Kiroranki as well, like I think it's funny, like in these episodes, like all of these previous episodes in season three, we were all like always like seeing Kiroranki and Ogata uh, like doing stuff and all seeing their backstories and everything and started like really warming up to them. Like especially I, 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 I don't think anything about uh, like o Ogata, but I kind of became started warming up to Kiroranki. Like, I thought, like, maybe, yeah, he is an okay dude. But, obviously, Tanigaki has grudging. And I also think that um, Kironanke wants the best for Ashiripa. I don't know why, but, uh, like, like Ogata doesn't give a damn about Ashiripa. We know that. Uh, and, but, I think, um, even if Ogata knew that, uh, not Ogata, sorry. Even if Kironanke knew that uh, Ashiripa, under, like, remembered the code or whatever, she would definitely he would definitely not try to kill her like um ogata did so i think he wants the best for ashripa obviously because he was he mates with wilk and uh, ashripa is will daughter yeah and also another thing another reason why i'm saying this like when he stabbed in in karamat um like i saw guilt in his face like we all saw, he was really rattled at that time. After like 
kind of like accidentally stabbing her so i think that <coughs> hiroranke is i don't know uh uh like more <coughs> would uh like i don't know more human in that like way like un unlike ogata because ogata is i don't know kind of ruthless and everything like i barely saw any kind of emotion in his like uh face up and like never saw any emotions i'm t talking about um uh, sad emotion like um yeah and we saw the, the emotion of guilt within him which i doubt he understands that that is guilt um so yeah i think like uh, i really liked kiranke like i was not, not liked but i was warming up to him more because of all of these reasons like uh but, but not like ogata like i barely felt anything for him uh, like I, I i know i acknowledge that his uh, past is sad but still um but kiranke i was kind of, kind of warming up to but i don't know what's going to happen now and yeah it's like funny to see like the people were like warming up to and like where all of these things like we even like had fun with them like they were like laughing and everything in a few episodes back and ashipa was also like happy and suddenly like in this episode everything like got flipped around and suddenly we like remember that yeah these guys they're not so clean they did some stuff which are kind of unforgivable they betrayed them and kind of like took ashipa and are doing everything um I don't know, like manipulate her, manipulating him, kind of uh, manipulating her, kind of all of these things. So yeah, <sighs> god damn, this episode was something. <clears throat> and um, I don't know what is going to happen. Oh, and <laughs> like this is golden kami. Like you, like <laughs> like Usubimoto and Ashripa meets. They like uh, are like uh, elated. They like hug and everything. <laughs> Suddenly, the next scene you see, <laughs> she, like, she, pissing on all, all of them. <laughs> what? Oh my god! The, <laughs> the humor is so like freaking random and like everything. And um, I think the, the thing with like him pissing over them is because of the salt. I think uh, like it's. Like if it's like as like um Ashipa's eyelid was stuck to the metal thing, metal surface. So I think uh, you should give salt to that to like dislodge that portion. But obviously, where can you get salt in this place? Like they are, they have nothing. They are like in the middle of the nowhere. So I think that is the reason why like uh Sugimoto asked uh, Shiraishi to pee on them. I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, please be sure to correct me down because I think it is because of the salt uh, content that is in the uh, pee. <laughs> that is the reason why, like, they uh, asked him to pee on them. <clears throat> okay. And. <laughs> Damn, like, Sugimoto was pissed off at Ogata. Like, when. <laughs> Like Ogata was standing and like kind of like provoking Ashipa. Sugimoto was standing behind him with red eyes and everything. Oh my god. And uh, like I was really surprised at the way Ogata like started spinning lies one after the other. So naturally like uh, at the beginning he said something about like uh, Kiroranke which was kind of true. Like Kiroranke did like signal them. But he is like cherry picking the uh, like information and saying them. So that was also kind of a lie, and after that he like blatantly lied about um, Sugimoto, yeah, like telling him about his last wish or whatever. And I was also kind of like tricked at that because uh, Ogata was talking about uh, that like Sugimoto's friend's wife, uh, which I, 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 I like at that time I kind of thought that did maybe did Sugimoto say something like that to Ogata? Because like at that time Sugimoto was almost dying and uh, I think when like people die uh, Whoever they, they will find him in front of them. They will like definitely try to Talk to them and say something about their last wish or something So I think like he was like Sugimoto is really concerned about um, His friend's uh, wife about the whole like she's blind and everything and like his friends like told uh, Sugimoto to like take care of my wife and like help like her 
and Sugimoto kind of like got into this whole situation because he wanted that gold for like um friend's wife so i think um i thought maybe like Sugimoto was told to ogata that so that like he can like help uh, her if he feels like it like he was i think he was just taking a chance maybe but then i thought that when would he say all of these things and i doubt he would have said these things so it kind of like tricked me as well i thought did they, they like skip that portion in the anime and uh, maybe he really did say that stuff like that but turns out it was him lying so ogata lying so yeah ogata tricked me as well <laughs> good job anyways um yeah okay um and they've uh, met that lady as well who i was talking about Tanika he kind of got injured and Kiranke got stabbed excuse me Tsukishima um got hurt in his neck um i i don't know if he'll be okay after that because neck is a really um vital place so he'll probably be fine something That's, and um yeah a lot of like injuries and all and <laughs> ogata got stabbed like not stabbed but uh, like arrow pierced in his eyes and i'm hoping the poison is gone now like after sugimoto like sucked the poison out and th and damn like each and every one almost are like injured in some way only sophia uh, shiraishi Sugimoto, Koito kind of kind Koito kind of got injured, but still he is fine. All of, like these four people are like okay. Rashiripa. <sighs> Damn. Like, each and everything like like this episode like was so well done. One after the other is like never stopped, and it even stopped as a cliffhanger, and that seal uh, it saved them. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, and Koito is kind of in a pinch now. Let's see. What happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that was episode number 11. So that was a really good episode. That was the, I don't know, like a really action packed, a really like good episode. And I like, we were waiting for this like moment. Ashripa meeting <coughs> Sugimoto. It happened in this season. I'm happy for that. Like I was really concerned as if to like they are again going to like drift, uh, like apart or something. And maybe in the second season, uh, next season we'll get to see them reuniting. But thankfully they reunited in this season, and we still have one episode left. So we will see more what's going to happen. Happy for that. And uh, one episode or two episodes. I can't. I don't know. Like either twelve episodes or thirteen episodes not sure uh, i'll have to check that out anyways um <clears throat> so yeah okay so that was uh, this episode this was an amazing episode uh yeah i've like said that about well, like a hundred times so <laughs> and uh, so yeah guys um i'll be back with a new um golden kami episode next week same time so thank you guys for watching and as i've said in the beginning of my uh, like like the episode i'm doing conducting a poll for like what anime i should react to replacing soul eater it's in the comment section uh go to the link vote if you want to yeah so yeah guys uh, i'll be seeing you guys next week same time uh with a new video so until then goodbye have a nice day